Hello guys, thank you so much for being here. So today we'll be talking about ICANN, Trademark, Cyber Squad, and uh, what we have to know before we get started buying the domain names. So let's get started. So what is ICANN? ICANN is the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, known as ICANN for abbreviation, is a non-profit organization responsible for coordinating the maintenance and procedures of several databases related to the name spaces and numerical spaces of the internet, ensuring the network's stable and secure operation. ICANN has been built to ensure that the internet works. ICANN administers the DNS through accredited domain registrars that are authorized to sell domain names. Every time a domain is added, renewed or transferred, the domain name registrar collects $0.18 fee to be paid to ICANN. All registrars must follow the Uniform Domain Name Dispute Resolution Policy, often referred to as the UDRP. Under the policy, most types of trademark-based domain name disputes must be resolved by agreement, court action, or arbitration before a registrar will cancel, suspend, or transfer a domain name. Disputes alleged to arise from abused registrations of domain names, for example cyber squatting, may be addressed by expedited administrative proceedings that the holder of trademark rights initiates by filing a complaint with an approved dispute resolution service provider. So what is cyber squatting? Cyber squatting is the practice of registering names, especially well-known company or brand names, as domain names in the hope of reselling them at a profit. The term cyber squatting refers to the unauthorized registration and use of internet domain names that are identical or similar to trademarks, service marks, company names or personal names. What is a trademark? A trademark can be any word, phrase, symbol, design or a combination of these things that identifies any goods or services that is legally registered or established by use as representing a company or product. A trademark owner could file a complaint against the domain name holder or in cases of abusive registration, submit a complaint to an approved dispute resolution service provider. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Mustafa was here, MrFullTime.com